<clears throat> hey, what's going on, guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Well, I'm doing pretty well right now. So, here we are again. We're going to do another heat challenge. And this is brought to you by my niece, Samantha Arnold. Sam. We'll call her Sam. How about that? She's the one that supplied me with the world's hottest chip, the Packy, whatever you want to call it, world's hottest chip the other day. And I, I challenged myself to that one, and I conquered that one with pretty much ease. And she wanted to get me something else. So we're going to open up that package. Let me get out my handy-dandy trusty multi-tool knife. And let's see what we got, guys. Yeah! Oh boy. Whew. Hot Beef Jerky Challenge. Revenge of the Reaper made with Carolina Reaper Beef Jerky. There she is, folks. Nothing on the back. Anyway, I think that it's 5 million Scoville units. I will have to do some more research, but I think that's what I've seen. So, anyway, having said that, I expect it to be at least as hot as the chip, if not hotter. It should be technically hotter than the chip. The chip is probably rated somewhere around a million to a million and a half or something like that. So let's open her up. And let's hope for the best, guys. Woo! Hoo hoo hoo! Woo! That stinks. I don't know if it'll sit here, but. It looks like duty. Boy, that looks like it's gonna be pretty warm, guys. And there's one little chunk sitting down here. It literally looks like a little string of duty. And I guess that's just a little fresh packet deal. Do not eat. I'll try not to. What I'll do is I'm gonna taste this little bitty bite right here first. Okay? See how it goes. It's instantly got some boogerness to it, guys. Now I'm gonna set this just right here. I do. I did bring me a cup of milk, just in case, because you never know how crazy something's gonna be. So I, I did bring me a cup of milk just in case. Mm. It actually has a pretty decent taste to it. I ain't gonna lie. Actually, don't taste bad. Hmm. The thing about this is, your it's in your mouth a lot longer than that chip was. So I think you're going to have a lot more heat in the mouth as opposed to on the esophagus.
Now it'll probably be about five minutes or so. And uh, I'm sure the heat will subside about that time. Don't want to touch my face or anything else with these. Ooh. Yep, that's definitely more in the mouth with this one. Caution, hot, extremely hot. It's warm, not gonna lie. As the spices and stuff work its way kind of through your mouth and down, I, I can feel it. Um, I can feel it washing the heat, my saliva. It's washing the heat kind of down the esophagus there, down the throat. And so it's moving from in the mouth down the throat. That's what she said. You would think they'd have the Scoville units on here. Whew. That's warm, guys. Like it's any hotter than the chip but it's hot Hottest beef jerky food hot food challenge made with the Carolina Reaper. The hottest pepper on the planet. Can you handle the Reaper's revenge? Better not use this for my face again because, uh, and that's the heat burns. The heat burps, I mean. You'll notice if you ever do kind of these challenges, if you get the real hot stuff, you get kind of the burps. <laughs> so, the challenge, eat the entire bag. The Reaper will take it from there. Wait as long as you can before drinking or eating anything what was your time? Novice, one to three minutes, but you're a junior. A chili head is three to ten minutes. A Reaper Master is a ten minute plus. Well, I hate to have such a long video, but I want to make sure that That we get it understood that I'm a Reaper master. So, even though my time on my video says 11 minutes and 55 seconds right this second, it took me a minute to get to the point of opening it and all that and eating it and congesting, whatever, ingesting, digesting. <laughs> so, I hate to let the video keep going, but like I said, the biggest part of the heat, gone. We just got a little bit left over.
and sweating and runny nose is nothing new with me. That happens if I eat soup, chili, ice cream, whatever. I sweat. I sweat easy. I sweat all the time. And my nose is running all the time. It's, you know, but it's expected if you eat something like this, it's going to, you know, make it even worse. So, uh, like, that was nothing. I mean, it, there was a, there was that, uh, couple of minutes of, ooh, this really got some heat to it. But it went it went away pretty pretty decent. Like I said, uh, you're chewing on this longer than you are the hot chip. So this has a chance to really stew in the mouth for a minute. And as your saliva kicks in, it starts washing all that heat uh, down the throat you know, to the transition of the esophagus and that. And you can literally feel it go from your mouth and start moving down the tongue and then back and then boop, you can feel it. Like I felt the, I felt almost that whole process. That was kind of, that was actually kind of neat to, to, uh, feel that to witness that kind of interesting you know you don't think about that when you're eating regular foods you know how you're really tasting everything really right here in your mouth obviously where your taste buds are but you don't really pay attention to the taste slowly making its way down into your esophagus and you know and, and all that kind of stuff it's kind of neat but I really felt it with this Jurassic Terry Turkey Jurassic Turkey presents Hot Beef Jerky Challenge. Well, guys, I wouldn't blame you for cutting out and long before now, even. But like I said, I'm gonna go a few minutes and uh, you know, I want to make sure I get my time in here and and all that stuff and. Hopefully I don't have no heat on this. Yeah, I'll leave it right there. Well, that was fun. And uh, I just got down, I just got done from my afternoon bus route. I checked the mail and it was in there. The package was in there. So I thought, why not go ahead and do it right this second? Haven't ate supper. Haven't even got supper going. Still got to work out. And I thought, you know what? Before I do any of that, I'm going to go ahead and do this challenge. So, I'm glad I did. It's over with. It's done. I'm pretty happy. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people that can't handle this kind of stuff. And I've had some hot... I've had some hot uh, sauces. Some hot, hot sauces. Uh, one was store-bought from Maria Sharps. Or Marie Sharps. Uh, in Canada, they sent it to me. Uh, their scorpion uh, hot sauce, and it's it's right there. It's a it's at a, a hot enough level where you don't want a lot of it. You just want it to kind of accent on the food, and then put maybe some lesser hot sauce on there. And I've had some homemade hot sauce that uh, where one of my sister's boyfriends. Uh, he made some hot sauce and it. He said it had Carolina Reaper and this other stuff in it, and uh, and he also had a a, t a little tube tub, whatever you want to call it, little little eh thing of uh, another scorpion like uh, extract or capsaicin or whatever it was, and I, I believe he used it in the sauce as well. I can't remember what he said, but I think he did. But not only did I eat some of the sauce, I ate some of that straight out of the bottle. Uh, you know, a good little dollop or whatever on my finger. And uh, so, 
uh, that's the hottest stuff I've ever had as far as heat goes. Uh, it would be that that he made and then the uh, Scorpion uh, hot sauce from Marie Sharps. By the way, uh, hit Marie Sharps up. They got some really good product that's made with uh, good ingredients and uh, they're fine people and they do all kind of great community service type work and all kind of stuff. So look them up online, Marie Sharps. Uh, good company. Yeah, the heat is uh, pretty much gone, guys. It. Uh, I'm really surprised because, like I said, having to chew on that jerky for that amount of time... I was I was concerned. I thought uh, I thought this could uh, this could be a, a quite the booger to deal with, but you know, if you keep your composure with these things and just concentrate and you know, you can get through these uh, little heat challenges fairly easy, I think. So. Uh, I didn't leave a product like link or anything to the chip, but if I remember, I'll try and leave like a, a link to this right here. I mean, you can go to Amazon, type it in and find it, but if I think about it, I'll leave a link in the description. Of course, I get no money from it. I'm not affiliate or, you know, nobody endorses the old Mikey son. My niece, my niece is endorsing me, I think. She might be, she might be my new endorser. Wonder if I get monthly checks from her and kind of stuff like that too. I don't know. Maybe. Well, the time limit on my camera is going on 20 minutes. It's uh 1950, 51, 52. So we're right at 20 minutes. Um I'm gonna say it's been I'm gonna say it's been 10 plus minutes since I ingested the, the food. So I guess that that would make me a reaper master. All right, guys, I don't feel the need to even drink this milk, but I'm sure not gonna let it go to waste. So here we go, guys. And there's no heat whatsoever. I could drink water. You know you're not supposed to drink water when you drink something hot. When you eat something hot like this, all it does is reactivate it. It doesn't do anything. You're supposed to have milk or something dairy-ish. But <clears throat> I'm going to drink my milk while it's still cold. I like milk. I don't need it. It's not hot. I'm not burning whatsoever. But let's enjoy some milk together to end this video. <sighs> Good stuff, guys. I love me some milk. Well, there you go, guys. I think I have conquered the Revenge of the Reaper Beef Jerky Challenge. I think I conquered it pretty well. Probably better than the chip. I don't know. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was fun. I enjoyed doing little things like this. Uh, this is definitely the hottest foods, uh, some of the hottest stuff that I've ever had between the chip and this jerky. So it's it's really cool to uh, challenge myself. And I know it seems crazy, but you know what? Challenge yourself, even if it's with something like this. Challenge yourself, guys. It's fun. All right? It's painful, but it's fun. I appreciate you watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And when you've done that, go check out my other channel. All right? Old Mental Pickle. That's where I live stream video games only. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Check out the playlist in both channels. Subscribe, share, uh, get my channels out there. I'm a decent, uh, family-ish friendly uh, channel. And I try to spread decent positivity, not only in my YouTube land, but in my Facebook land and in my real world land. I try to be a decent inspiration and positive influence to people. And we need more people out there like that. Okay? So don't forget, guys. Get up. Get out. Get red. Do it to it. And we'll see you next time on Mikey Sun TV. See y'all later.
Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it!